Hello, I'm Karthik, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS headquarters in Seattle. Sometimes customers ask me how to change the user pool attributes after the creation of the user pool. I tell them this can be achieved by creating a new user pool with the desired attributes and then migrating the users to the new user pool. Using a user migration AWS Lambda trigger allows seamless migration of users between the user pools. So let's get started. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Cognito User Pool Console. I click Manage User Pools. I navigate to my existing user pool. And here are the required attributes of my user pool, which is address and email. I click Users and Groups. And here is my existing user of this user pool. Then create a new user pool with the desired attributes, which are different from the ones in the existing user pool. So I navigate to User Pools. I have gone ahead and created my new user pool and I navigate to attributes and here are the required attributes which is just email for this user pool. I navigate to users and groups. As you can see there are no users in this user pool. Now navigate to the lambda console and create a lambda function which handles the logic to authenticate the user with the existing user pool and then return the attributes to Cognito. I have gone ahead and created my lambda function and here is the code. At authentication, this function is triggered by Cognito to authenticate the user with the existing user pool if the user does not exist in the new user pool. Now configure the Lambda trigger for the new user pool. I navigate to my Cognito user pool console and I navigate to triggers and I configure the Lambda function as the user migration trigger and I hit save changes. Now test the flow by authenticating the user into the new user pool. I'm going to navigate to my domain name section and grab the URL for the hosted UI. Please make sure to append it with the parameters depending on your use case. And now I'm going to authenticate the user. As you can see, the user has been successfully authenticated with the new user pool. Make sure that the application that's using the Cognito SDK is configured to make use of the user password auth flow at the time of migration in order to pass the user's existing username and password to the Lambda function. This is used to authenticate the user from the existing user directory. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.